so hey saints it's sister with a testimony i'm on the road again in the little swap mobile they were calling for rain and thunderstorms and tennis side tennis ball size hail and just all manner of stuff and um again we pray and we ask the lord if his will is for us to go and do the work of an evangelist and he answers it's cloudy it's a little foggy no rain no thunderstorms no lightning no hail the size of tennis balls or any other size because guess what saints the people that are predicting your weather are practicing witchcraft it is considered a form of witchcraft to predict the weather using systems of weather patterns you can like it you can lump it you can say people are crazy but you better read the word of god and you better wake up we have been given all authority and power on this earth to rule and reign and occupy until Christ returns. That doesn't mean we're going to take over the seven pillars of society and make an utopia on earth so that Jesus can come. That means where we live, we will occupy that space, that sphere of influence, and we will speak the word of God, we will speak the truth, and we will tell the enemy where to go and how to get there according to the word of God, not according to our flesh. Everybody wants to have their own way, saints, until you die to self. Submit yourself, therefore, unto God and resist the devil. You're still going to be practicing pagan rituals on a daily basis. If you would read the word of the Most High God, Yahuwah, who is Yahushua Hamashiach in the flesh, he'll speak to you by Ruach HaKodesh. I am fired up today. Because once again, they were calling for horrible, destructive, damaging storms. The devil and all his imps are liars. I will not listen to the predictions of men and women that are under the influence of the enemy. I will only listen to the Spirit of the Most High God, and He will speak through other people. He will speak through the Word of God. He will speak, and I will be listening because today I will not hear the voice of Satan, Hasatan. I will not hear his voice. I will not be in the right place at the wrong time. I will be in the right place at the right time, and I will be the carrier of the Holy Spirit. I will not be the barrier for other people. I will not be a stumbling block. I'm going to point them to Yahushua Hamashiach. I'm going to point them to the Lord Most High, and I'm going to tell people, you better wake up and repent and come out from among them. Yes, I am ready for battle. I am ready to do the work of an evangelist because the Lord Most High, He is on the throne. He is worthy. He is able. He is capable. And He called you out of the darkness into the marvelous light. And I declare and decree today is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Saints, get up out of your hiding place. Go outside, look up, for your redemption draweth nigh. He's on his way, he's coming, he is coming for a church, a church without spot or blemish. And I'm not talking about the church you're thinking about. I'm not talking about that building that we go to, to fellowship and rub elbows and harmonize so that we feel good about the sins that we're living in. I'm talking about the true ecclesia, the called out ones, the ones that assemble into the name of Yahushua, the ones that assemble into his 
name and are one with him. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. It's time to stop playing church. It's time to stop seeking that which you have already found. And it is time to stand up. It is time to take a stand. And it is time to say, Jesus is the Lord of my life. Jesus is the Lord of my whole entire life mind, will, emotion, soul, spirit, body, life, period, end of discussion. I'm going to take a stand for what the Word of God says, and if it brings me death, so be it, because I will never die. They can kill the body, but they can't kill the soul. Don't be afraid of what man can do to you, saints. Be afraid of what the one that created you can do. He's the only one that can cause you to be alive. He is the only one that can cause you to die. And he is the only one that can send your soul to separation from him for eternity. Wake up. You can't just make a mere profession and confession without a change. If you're still doing the same old thing, if you're still going the same old places, if you have idols in your heart, if you have sin in your life that you will not part with because you think Jesus is okay with it, you are delusional. You have been lied to, you believe the lie, and you have lived the lie, and now you're becoming the lie. Repent before it's too late. And only true repentance with godly sorrow and a contrite, broken heart will the Lord accept. He's not going to accept lip service. So if you're one of the ones giving lip service, either zip your lips or open them wide and tell the truth. We are despitefully wicked above all. In the book of Jeremiah chapter 17, the heart of man is despitefully wicked above all. Who can know it except our creator? Saints, you can't even know your own heart. Your own heart will deceive you. The only one that won't deceive you is the Lord himself. But if he gives you up to a reprobate mind, he'll let you think that where you're at with him is okay. Because you asked for your sin and you gloried in it and you're now reaping what you sow. Be sure, saints, our sins will find us out. Be sure, saints sin is crouching at the door. I don't have a sin consciousness. I have the understanding and the consciousness of Christ's mind. Wherefore, I have been saved by the washing of the water of the word and I am clean and I am going to live clean and I will not be deceived. The enemy will not plant evil in my life. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice in it and I declare and decree over you saints if you can stand it if you can stand it, then take it and hand it to someone else because they're going to have to take a stand and be able to stand for it also. Stand up and then hand it out because I can guarantee you the band of vipers is coming for all of us. And if we don't have the ability to stand in the hard times, what's going to happen when the destruction and the judgment comes. Think about that, saints. I plead and apply the blood of Yahushua Hamashiach over you to hide and protect you and keep you. In Jesus' name, the name that is above all names, the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. And I will leave you with one simple scripture. It's in Luke chapter 13. The man asked Jesus, Will there be few that be saved? Only eight people made it onto Noah's Ark, saints. Few, few will find it. Few. Be one of the few. God bless you. I love you. It's Sister with a Testimony.